What's up gamers? In this video, I'm going to be showing you the shiny boosted encounter areas for specifically dragon Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Dragon Pokemon are really cool and I wanted to cover it in both games. So let's get into the video. So pretty much you want to use two avocados and two salty herba mystica for the simple, easy dragon sandwich for your single player. If you don't use the salty herbas, the recipes start to get very complicated, so I'm just sticking with this one. And that'll give us Sparkling Power Dragon, Tidal Power Dragon, and Encounter Power Dragon, which is what we'll be using for all the hunts. So to get to the first area, you have to go from Los Platos East. This is where my character is currently located, up on this spot. You'll be able to spawn in a bunch of Axew on this hill. And as you can see, here they are. And there's a little bit of a trick for a path to walk around it, because the best way to get your shiny Pokemon is by not doing a complete burst speed i when i usually run really fast like this it's it takes a lot longer to spawn but this is probably the best way in order to get a bunch of them to spawn so just go around like this kind of run around the area you can spawn in new ones you can despawn out old ones usually up to this tree this tree sometimes spawns a quite a bit in this area so you can keep checking these areas for shiny hunting but this is pretty much the route you want to go on the first area with the axew and what I like to do is just loop back around, get fresh spawns in. And you can keep repeating this in area one until you get your shiny Axew of your choice. Another great spot to hunt Axew on your map is going to be in this location. Look at that. There's so many already on the map. Uh, this is located in the canyon area. So this entire area is going to be filled with them. This is not exactly my favorite spot to hunt them, but you can despawn if you just want this giant cluster. But if you want to do a little more traveling around the area and, and get a straight line of spawns, this is the spot that I kind of like going to. So it's this pathway over here. You run up here around these ruins to despawn them. So these ruins over here on the map where exactly where I am, you can see that marked by this is where I usually run to do a quick despawn of the ones that are going to be straight ahead. And at that point, I just go straight up and I start spawning them in seeing what comes up on the map and you're going to follow this line if there's a terra raid den you can kind of use this as your guiding point and you just want to walk straight through straight through this area look on the left and as you're traveling through this spot you'll see a bunch of axiu spawning everywhere left and right make sure you are zoomed out though it makes it a lot easier when you are hunting down there's also a little ledge here so you can just hop down and you'll bump into a whole nother section of axios again and you can see they're all behind you they're around so make sure you're always rotating your camera looking around don't ever miss any of them when you're in this area and then coming back here you'll just basically repeat exactly what we just looked at before you'll have axes on the down part of the hill you can run over to this little ruin area and just keep repeating this path basically over and over again until you get your shiny axe okay the next area that you want to go to if you're hunting axes is this entire area it's going to be the spawn is going to be right at zappa pico west so when you get a zappa pico west you're going to spawn over here and when you have your dragon encounter sandwich you're going to start to see a couple more axe start spawning around here so here we go they're starting to spawn you can see them in the tiny spots here basically you can look around this entire pathway running up to the cave north so if you're hunting you can follow the main road but literally everywhere in the spot that looks like a pathway is where they all exactly spawn turn around you can see a couple behind you keep going i know it's a little snowy on my screen but you could probably see them pretty well here there there's the axios more axios over here if you turn left you'll find axios over here you get a couple of different spawns of other pokemon but pretty much right until that point of the cave you're going to see axios on this whole line so what you can do is to do a best spawn run up to this cave have a quick despawn of the things behind you and then pretty much just run back to that original station be careful don't do that burst run like me but just go straight down and this is another location that you can choose if you want to hunt your axiu if you're in the mood to hunt axiu and fracture you could teleport to the top right corner of your map which is all the way up here uh, located in this spot which is the north province area one watchtower now around this area you're going to get different spawns of pokemon but we're going to focus on basically yeah act there it is they, these will basically be here axiu and its evolution and you can continue to just run across this area slowly and you'll get more spawns and more spawns as there you go there's another family of them and uh yeah you just run around this entire area you basically can run this entire area around here up until you reach this area one pokemon center and you'll constantly get families of the axiu spawning so how you're going to do it is totally up to you. I mean, like, look at that. That's just that's just two entire families. So hunting Axew shouldn't be 
too difficult based on uh based on this area all right let's move on to the next pokemon by the way don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it helps me a lot and it lets me know that you guys want these specific videos and i'll make one for every single type i seriously will for everything in the game so hit that like button subscribe the next location that we'll be going over is for friggy backs which is the new pseudo legendary dragon ice pokemon it's going to be located pretty much anywhere on this mountain if you pop a dragon encounter sandwich shiny one or not even shiny one you'll start to see these everywhere it doesn't matter where you go on this mountain these will start to spawn for some reason this might be the most powerful dragon spawn in the game the problem is that it's shiny is very hard to tell from the regular one because the shiny instead of those little yellow things on its hand are gonna have pink things on its hand and the shiny is not that noticeable especially on the mountain when it starts to snow or become a blizzard it, it starts to be difficult it really does and the best way to hunt this is to find a nice pathway that you want it could even be this area despawn them out like that and then turn around and respawn them in again or you can choose to go up a pathway that's also a really good option like if you see a mountain here like this you can go up this and just like that don't go too fast because sprinting usually does not work with some pokemon some pokemon have slower spawn in times but yeah just walk up a mountain like that start to spawn them in and then run down the pathway until they despawn and you can see there's just so many spawning around here and the crazy part is look if i jump off this mountain let's say i go over here you're gonna bump into even more friggy backs the friggy backs don't end this way but yeah this is the best way in order to get your ice dragon pokemon i mean your dragon ice pseudo legendary pokemon it's gonna be good so good luck on this mountain when it comes to catching this guy so there are gonna be two spots in the first area of the map that are gonna be very good for gumi hunting the first one's gonna be exactly where i am which is the left of this map over here as you can see from left of los platos east it's gonna be where all these little lakes are and little waters because gumis like the water and all you have to do is run around this area and you'll see a bunch of them wherever there's water is usually a good spot that you'll get these gumis and you can see a good amount of them are spawning look we got even terra but just run around this area despawn them here this is a pretty good spot that i found in the first area there's also a counter point to it on the opposite side so let's go over there so pretty much you can teleport over to the south province area five it's going to be the swampy area that's pretty much the spot we're gonna go head over to the swampy spot and once you're here you'll start to also see a bunch of gummies starting to spawn over here there's the gummies they're all spawning around this area so these are the these are pretty much the area one gummy spots where you can start to hunt i prefer the left side of this area better than here but if you're choosing to hunt here this is a great spot as well all right another good spot that i was just filming and i bumped into a shiny gumi right over here is going to be this area on the map pretty much around all these island spots right over here around the lake is where you're going to start to see also gumis and its evolution sligu spawn in little families so this is a great spot to also hunt um and yeah this just like that just walk around you get a group of families but they are mixed a lot with the other dragon pokemon so i would not go pure hunting here but here we go the next pokemon that we're going to be talking about for shiny hunting is the tatsugiri pokemon now tatsugiri is very complicated this is another lovely dragon water type but the problem is it has three forms as you can see you got the pink one you have a yellow one walking around here you have an orange one and these are pretty much all the tatsugiris walking around which means there's going to be three different shiny forms so you're really going to want to pay attention to its back when it comes to Tatsugiri. The pink one is going to have a white shiny. The orange one shiny is going to have a little brown on its back. And the yellow shiny is going to be also have another orange version of it, but it's going to have tiger stripes on it. So Tatsugiri hunting is going to be really complicated. And the best areas to do the Tatsugiri hunting will be across all these islands here on this spot. It's going to be in Castle Roya Lake, but not in the water, but on the islands. So that's pretty much where they're all hiding. The best way you want to do it is have a spot where you can despawn them. So being on an island, I think, is a lot more harder than being able just to quickly despawn them out. I pretty much like this spot where I'm at at this corner because you can walk into a new area and... Oh, wait, 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 that's a shiny. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> you see how hard they are to miss you can miss them that's crazy see i didn't even know that all right so this is why you really need to pay attention i was literally going to despawn this out that is incredible so back to what i was saying the key to hunting them is pretty much just zoning out like this in this area then coming back to the spot you know get new respawns on the pokemon and that's the way to do it so that's why i like the island as the best location to do this so good luck with 
hunting Tatsugiri, and maybe you get lucky like me and can find the the heart. I thought that was white Tatsugiri. Okay, moving on to the next dragon. Okay, so for Dratini and Dragonair, it's gonna be pretty much Lake Casaroya is a good spot, but the problem with Lake Casaroya is you're gonna also be bumping into a lot of what we mentioned before, our Sushi Mon. So if you wanna do kind of a double hunt here with the Dratinis, Dragonairs, and our Tatsugiri, this might be the spot for you, but there are a lot other better spots. But Lake Casaroya, pretty much if you wanna do a dual hunt with the last Pokemon we did talk about, um, just go anywhere around the lake, you'll find Dratinis and Dragonairs everywhere here, but there are better spots which we are going to show you right now okay so north province area one watchtower is a very good spot if you guys want to know we talked about this already with the axios this is the top right of your map in the corner and the best part about this is nothing is really going to get confused with you when you're focusing on the, the Dratinis. They're all going to be in this lake right over here. So all you have to do to really shiny hunt these guys is just walk around. And while you're walking around, they're just going to constantly respawn in new ones nonstop here. So it's, it's a pretty easy hunt. Just keep going around like this. And the bonus is because you have your dragon sandwich probably on with the boosted rates, you're going to bump into other dragon Pokemon on land while you're doing this. So this in a way is a very good location to do multiple dragon hunting in a way. So there's your Axews. You got this in the game. If you're playing Pokemon Violet, you're going to see some Dreepies here in this area as well. So it's a very heavy dragon location. So yeah, just keep going around this area. In my opinion, this is probably the easiest spot to get a Dratini as they are spawning in massive amounts in the game. So this is a good spot to do it. Okay, the last spot that you can choose to hunt Dratini in is in something I like to call the pit. And uh, it's located in this area of the map, the so North Province area too. And if you zoom in, it's going to be this little thing here. It's going to be a rock and this is going to be a bunch of Dratini. And this is probably the easiest way to get a Dratini because it's the only thing that spawns in here when you have the dragon encounter. So you can send out whatever Pokemon you want. Hopefully it's not in the laggy rain and just chill out walk slowly with it and you'll just be nuking all these dratini non-stop until a shiny shows up so you can zoom out i'm pretty sure you can send it out and latch on to an area to sit down and wait and watch you probably will get a shiny in this location but this is a great spot the pit yeah i think these are the best three locations in my opinion to get your dratini in the game so you can evolve it eventually into a shiny dragonite if you want to shiny hunt Dragonite, this is possibly the best location on the map to do it. Because I've noticed the most amount of spawns here so far. Because Dragonite's not easy to get to spawn. But this spot is pretty good on the right corner by the un area that you can enter. So pretty much uh, what you want to do is you want to ro rotate around this path. There's a Terra Dragonite over here. Which, by the way, can be shiny. Here's Dragonite number one on the left. So, so far, that's two. Here comes another Dragonite by this tree. And then if we wrap around here, I'm going to go a little fast. Zoom up here. We're going to run into the next Dragonite. There it is. And there's Dragonite number three. And basically, you want to keep that rotation happening. You can keep running around in this circle. But I know there's some people who just want to Dragonite hunt and don't want to do the little baby Dragonairs or Dratinis. So... Yeah, if you're one of those Dragonite people, here is a sick route for you guys just to do Dragonite. So the really good area to get Noivern and Noibat would be this top right corner. There are other spots on the map, which you could mention, but I've noticed the most success here and they get the highest amounts of spawns in this area specifically. And they, yeah, here's a Noibat. And that is a, wait a second, there's a shiny right in the background. This is definitely the spot. You can see all the spawns of the Noibat. I was not expecting this many shinies in this one video, to be honest with you. But yeah, the Noiverns are spawning here. So you have a great chance of, of getting Noivern itself, the this evolution. And uh, here's our... Yeah, we're going to want to bump into you, buddy. Nice. Anyway, like I was explaining for the Noiverns and Noibats, this is pretty much the area you want to go for to hunt them. And it's really easy to despawn and respawn them in on these pathways because they just spawn everywhere here when it comes to dragon encountered boosting rate and uh you just keep going it doesn't matter what time of the day it is you can see them spawning here you have the adults there's just so many and the opportunity to get a shiny here is ridiculous um, there's also mass outbreak that has a possibility to spawn here so you can combo this with your mass outbreak as well <laughs> there's so many look at all these noiverns and noibats yeah so this is the spot uh good luck over here you can run your own pathway and figure one out but i pretty much just run back and forth to keep respawning them in and respawning them out or you can get 
get lucky and film a YouTube video and get one as well. Okay, the next one that we're going to be talking about is a specific place for people who are playing Pokemon Scarlet, but we'll also be covering the best spot for Violet because Dreepies are really annoying and bother you a lot. We're going to be heading to this island here. This is the Scarlet spot to spawn the Cyclizers. We call this Cyclizer Island. So as soon as you jump over here with your encounter boosted dragon, you should start to see these guys right over here, just like that. There they are. And they'll start to spawn in. There you go. And this is the hot spot to get cyclizers well, yeah that's a lot wow when i was filming my video about cyclizers i was actually able to bump into one i just did knockout encounters to make it really simple to get them because sometimes it's kind of hard to, to, to actually you can to spawn them there you go that's the way of doing it you can just jump out and jump back in on the map to despawn a bunch of them if you have flying or you can just walk away that might actually be the better way of doing it i did knockouts for some reason when i was doing my initial video when it came to the shiny hunting method and you could see that over here yeah it's pretty much it was a really nice shiny and that's where i got it and i realized this might be the best location but if you're in violet this location has a very strong possibility of having dreepies here and it's it, it doesn't make it as fun okay i just teleported over to the stop over here at porto marinada as soon as i spawn in there's already a bunch of cyclizers running around so this actually might be the spot if you're a Violet player to jump in on the Cyclizers. This is a pretty good spot. They are everywhere here. And uh, wow. Okay. So yeah, just go ahead and you can despawn and respawn them in this area. And Violet players, you might have a better time hunting them here. Okay, so this is a Gibble location that I found. Uh, it's a small cave and it's right over here, right by Cortando. So you come over here and this is what it should look like. Here's the back view and here is the front view. So if you go through this cave, you should be able to spawn in a couple of gibble here. Give me a sec. There it is. All right. There they go. They start spawning in. Drop to the floor. There's some gibbles. So you want a little tiny cave to run in. Don't mock me. I have not finished that snake yet. You should be able to get some gibbles in this cave. And the more you, you know, hang around, the more gibbles that will spawn in this. But there's just a little spot. You want to just do a little gibble hunt. Yeah. If you wait around, you will see more gibble spawning in. If you move too fast, it's harder to get. But yeah, there's, there's, yep, there's a bunch of gibble here. Uh, we just keep going forward, slow down a bit, wait a second, let them pop in and spawn, and you should be able to hunt gibble in this location. Okay, now this is pretty much the spicy cave for hunting gibble inside of it. This is the way up to the psychic town of Alfernada if you're taking this pathway from the Windmill area. So pretty much south of West Province, you follow this pathway, you'll be in front of this cave here. And Alfernada Cavern has access to a lot of dinos and gibbles and gabites in Pokemon Scarlet. There's a lot of dragons. And when you have dragon encounter in here, you'll get way better spots. Like, look how many. <laughs> There's so many in here. See what we can see here. But the best way is, I mean, you can just walk in and out of that front of the cave, especially when you have your dragon encounter on to see what you could spawn in and despawn. As I'm exploring the cave in Scarlet, I do get a lot of dinos. So this is a good dino hunting spot if you're here and this is also pretty much a good gabite and kibble spot so for this part you're going to be traveling to area zero going to the lab station number three and for scarlet players you're going to be able to hunt roaring moon you're going to be able to hunt the garchomp line pretty much here as well as the hydrogen line this is the really crazy part here so Unfortunately, when you select dragon, you're going to bump into all of these mods here. So there you go. There is our second evolution of your Dino, Zvelis. And as you walk around here, you'll start to see all the spawns happen. Um, the best way to hunt this, as people on stream have told me when I was live, is you go to every circle and you spin around to see what you're going to get around here. And you can see there's a lot of these dragon Pokemon spawning right now. We should see... Oh my gosh! No way! There it is! Our first dragon! Oh, this is nuts. This is ridiculous. Anyway, so like I was mentioning, if you are doing a dragon encounter and coming here in Pokemon Scarlet, you can see the amount of Roaring Moons spawning in. That is like one, two, three, four, five, six. There is a lot of Roaring Moons here. The best method to try to hunt this Paradox Mon is to kind of despawn them out. And they take a bit to spawn back in. Yep, they're, they're everywhere here. They take a bit to spawn out. So you want to just hop in the middle. Give it some time to spawn a couple of them. Uh, walk around pretty slow. And the shiny should be pretty noticeable. You can also see you have chances of getting a Gibble. Gibble for the Garchomp line here. Even though that's probably one of the worst shinies in the game. But the pre-evolutions look pretty nice. So that's one thing that's pretty cool about it. But yeah, this is pretty much the spot for it. I know I'm not going to get lucky in this video. And I'm low-key trying to stall out. Thinking I'll be lucky. But yeah, it's not happening. 
Okay, let's move on to the next location. But good luck on your dragon hunting in this area. A good hunting spot for Altaria would be an Alfernada up this hill. So I'm just going to go up here and we're going to see if we get our spawns. There it is. All right, there's a group of Altaria here. Pretty good. This is pretty much going to be around this area that I'm heading towards. So we're going to the top. There's another group there as we're going up. And the good part about Altaria in this location is that you're not really confusing it like in Lake Casaroya when it comes to the Tatsugiri or Dratinis or anything spawning in the overworld. It just seems to be a good section of Altaria is just spawning as you're climbing up here. Whoa, dodge those Don fans. And uh, you can just basically go up and down this hill if you want to spawn them here. This is a very nice isolated spot. Even in the top right corner of the map, you'll be bumping into a bunch of them, but you have the chance of mixing them in with the Axios. Okay, and as you're moving up, you'll see more Altaria spawns. You can look down. Maul Altaria spawns as well as Swablu. And this also is another good spot, this little lake here at the top. It's a great spot to also spawn Dratinis. You'll see a bunch just render in right now. So if you're also wanting to hunt the same thing at the same time, this is a good spot. It's not really interfering with your hunt of all terriers and swablus but this is a great spot for dratinis as well if you want to camp here and you can all despawn them easily by just leaving that lake area and showing back up so it's a pretty quick respawn in this is a very good uh location to specifically hunt the alterias on your map north province area one watchtower over here at north province area one watchtower you'll also get a bunch of swablus and Altaria's in groups. This is another great spot, but the problem with this area is that you'll be bumping into other dragons like Axew. But if you want open hill environment and just walking around and being able to easily spot Pokemon, this is definitely a good spot. And pretty much you have this entire area to do the hunting in as they are an overworld spawn. And all you're gonna be looking for is your gold Altaria. So the moment you see yellow or a gold color, you know you're done with that hunt. But I just wanted to show that one so you guys can have an easy hunt as well. A good area to spawn would also be around the island area in Casa Roya Lake. So if you hop around the islands or hop around the borders here, you should be able to also get a Altaria. The only issue is when you are doing dragon encounter here, you're gonna bump into other dragons like Tatsugiri. This is just a wild dragon that spawns here all the time. And yeah, Jotinis are gonna be in the water as well. So just island hop basically around here if you wanna hunt. It's a multiple dragon hunt for Altaria, but this is a great spot. The only problem with uh, Altaria as well is like Swablu's are normal encounter and there are spots for normal, but it's up to you what you want to do exactly when it comes to that normal encounter sandwich. All right, so for Applin, I'm heading into the Tag Tree Thicket, which is pretty much exactly where the Bagon area is. So from East Province Area 3, just go right into here. And what you're going to be doing is looking at trees or red dots and basically apples like there you go there's an apple and it seems to increase a little bit possibly the more you do it so when you ram into a tree it'll fall in one frame per second don't worry about that that's just the game and um yeah that's pretty much how you do bump into applin what you want to do is probably exit the area and possibly return over and over again to see if the apple is going to be green so you are targeting a green apple on the tree uh there is red apple here and you want to check all the trees because they do even spawn on the weird ones that are marked by graphi eye i've noticed that as well um so yeah pay attention look in the trees these are a pokemon that people normally don't spot shiny and good luck with that so there's your uh, applin trick let me know if you found a better applin spawning location okay uh so yeah if you go to area three in the east province area three you spawn over here you got your dragon encounter up just by that, you'll already see a bunch of Baggins spawning and Wow, that, that is actually a lot of Baggins. And all you got to do is just despawn them by walking away. Just like that. And go back. Since clearly they like to spawn around the Pokemon Center. That is a lot. So this is a really good Baggins spot if you do want to get it. Okay, so this is the spot in Area 1 if you pop your encounter. You should start seeing a bunch of Bagon. And because there's Axews here, this is almost like a dual hunt. So you see a bunch of Axews. You'll see a bunch of Bagon here. And yeah, this is what Violet players will see as opposed to the Scarlets who just will see Axews. So this is going to be in the Spiral in the first area. So from the top of Alfernada, if you want to go in this cavern over here for the top, you'll be able to do a pretty good hunt for Gabite, Gibble, and Shelgon. This path is pretty much just straightforward. You can do a little zooming here because the dragons do tend to spawn pretty quick as opposed to certain other Pokemon in the game. So 
up and down this ramp from the town is the best way to pull this off there we go we got a couple more spawning here yeah you'll see a bunch of gibbles and gabites all right so then we want to go back up on this amount if you don't see it just slow down there we go there's a bunch of them over here and don't forget to turn your camera around sometimes they spawn behind you and then just go back up and you can repeat this in order to get your shell guns and your gabites in the alfernada Okay, so for Jagalgi, this is going to be the spot that I prefer hunting it in. Right over here to the left of Lake Casaroya in the water here. And as soon as I came over here, we bumped into a shiny. This is the spot where you'll get the Jagalgi. Uh, Skrulp is its pre-evolution, but that is actually not a dragon type. It becomes a dragon type as it evolves, but they will probably be spawning with their counterpart within this area. Basically, the waters are a very good spot, but I'm sure maybe you guys have figured out a better one possibly, but this is the one that clearly I have had luck in because I got a shiny. So if you want to go hunt here, this is a great spot. This again is version exclusive for Pokemon Scarlet. So Scarlet players are going to be hunting this one. One of the best spots for Dreepy in this game is over here and you get its second evolution running around it. This is my personal opinion. This is in the death lake trap here all the way by north province area two we said to hunt dratinis here earlier but this is on violet it's a good spot to dual hunt both of them and uh yeah you pretty much just head down here and you can see the amount of spawns i'm not a big fan of this pokemon in violet because they're very annoying and they're everywhere but you can just hunt them down have your pokemon take care of them and you should be able to get one but you can let me know if you have a better dreepy hunting spot than me and these are all the locations for the dragon Pokemon that I found out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this one. You might get something really good from this one. Check, seriously, click, click on this one.